my channel. In this video, we are going to see, how to create the simple newsletter form using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, in which we can see the nice background image with form in the center of the browser, with title text above the form. For demo files, you can visit my GitHub account, where you can clone it or download the files. I will leave a link below this video, check it out. Let's get started with HTML structure. Create the wrapper developments with newsletter titles in it. Next, create the newsletter development with an input field with input class. And add the placeholder value to it. Now add the envelope icon below the input field. For envelope icon, I am going to use the font awesome icons. First, include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML structure. Then search for the envelope icon and then include it into the file. Below that create the subscribe development. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. In this demo, I am going to use the Comfort Tile Google Fonts. Search for the Comfort Tile font family and include it into the CSS file. Now reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to zero. Use the outline property to remove the blue border around the input fields. Use the box sizing property so the padding and border get included into the width of the element. Finally, include the Comfort Top Font family. Now set the background image to the body. Use the VH unit for height, where VH stands for viewport height, which divides the browser into 100 equal parts. Now place the wrapper development in the center of the browser. First, set its width and height equal to 100%. Then set its display value to flex. By default, the flex direction is a row. Now set its flex direction value to the column. Use the justify content property to place the content vertically in the center. Then use the align items property to place the content horizontally in the center.
now style the h1 and paragraph elements. Now style the newsletter development. First, set its maximum width property to 550 pixels, and width to 100%. So that the form becomes responsive. Then set its position value to a relative. Then style the input field. Now place the icon in the top left of the input field. Now place the subscribe button in the top right side of the input field. Here the icon and subscribe button are relative to the newsletter development. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.